In other news, alarm bells are ringing, warning of massive disaster due to climate change in Antarctica. The world's largest icebergs has broken free and it's on the move. I, I want to talk about Antarctica mm -hmm. because I think this is going to be the new obsession. Antarctica has always been a place of wonder, mystery, and fascination. Not just for scientists and explorers, but for those who believe in and are hooked on conspiracy theories. There are a lot of theories about Antarctica, but the most fascinating of these theories is that the world's billionaires are deeply involved in uncovering the secrets that lie underneath the frozen surface of the world's largest continent. What about the Antarctica attracts these billionaires? And what do they know about Antarctica? Join us as we delve into the real reason why billionaires meet in Antarctica. Billionaire secretly meeting in Antarctica. There is a compelling theory about Antarctica that suggests that it is not just a continent that is covered with ice, but that it is also a treasure trove of mysterious technology and artifacts. This conspiracy theory draws on the allure of the unknown, and it suggests that billionaires, in their quest to own groundbreaking discoveries, are funding various expeditions to unearth the hidden secrets underneath the ice. The possibility of ancient alien technology lying dormant under the vast ice sheets, artifacts and machinery from civilizations beyond our world, and also finding significant historical artifacts like the Holy Ark of the Covenant or the Holy Grail is what drives such expeditions. The idea that such objects could be hidden in Antarctica, far away from prying eyes, all helps to add to the intrigue of the continent. This theory also suggests the construction of secret underground bases in Antarctica. And no, these are not just any kind of secret bases, but hideouts intended to shield the elites from global catastrophes. These hideouts, or bunkers as the case may be, are fully equipped with everything needed for self-sufficiency, and they also include state-of-the-earth technologies that are dedicated to studying alien technology and mysterious artifacts, all in a bid to secure a secluded and new environment free from the prying eyes of the international agencies. There are a whole lot of conspiracy theories flying around Antarctica, but most of them pertain to governments and their quest to make contact with the extraterrestrial. So what exactly makes Antarctica mysterious? What are the mysteries of Antarctica? And how far have we explored this mysterious yet fascinating continent? The Mysteries of Antarctica Antarctica has been at the heart of many conspiracy theories, and some people believe that ancient civilizations once existed in Antarctica, and that these civilizations are now buried deep under the ice of Antarctica. Ancient civilizations like the lost city of Atlantis, a city rumored to be the most beautiful city ever at the height of its glory. But one day, the city of Atlantis just disappeared, like it was never there. What could have swallowed up a whole city? Little wonder people believe it is buried under the massive ice length of Antarctica. Another thing that seems to confuse many people about Antarctica is the time of its discovery. Officially, Antarctica was discovered more recently than many people think. Many people think that Antarctica was discovered thousands of years ago, but they could not be more wrong. Antarctica was discovered in 1820, during the Russian expedition of Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen and Mikhail Lazarev. This means that Antarctica was discovered 200 years ago. But how does that explain the fact that the presence of Antarctica is seen on ancient maps? The Perry race map from 1513 depicts Antarctica on its map with a shocking amount of accuracy long before it was officially discovered. This of course raises questions about the validity of the story of the Russian expedition's discovery of the Antarctica. It is claimed to have been discovered in 1820, but here it is on a map in the 1500s with great accuracy and detail. This only adds to the mystery of various anomalies and unexplained findings in Antarctica, fueling speculation about the secret bases or remnants of ancient civilizations. On occasions there have been instances of satellite imagery that have occasionally revealed patterns and structures that defy easy explanation. And these discoveries suggest activities in Antarctica 
either human activity or something extraterrestrial. There is also the fact of Germany's expedition to Antarctica. The area of Antarctica that the Germans visited is called Schwabenland, and whilst this mission was officially aimed at exploration, there have been speculations by many that this exploration was just a cover for the original mission of establishing a secret base on Antarctica, or even to make contact with these extraterrestrial beings. But the most famous piece of evidence cited by the conspiracy theorists is Operation High Jump led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd. This United States Navy operation was officially tasked with establishing research bases there, but for what purpose? Nobody lives down there in Antarctica, so why would they try to establish a military base there? Some people believe that this operation was a covert mission to investigate alien bases or ancient ruins hidden beneath the ice operation. Operation High Jumps originally intended to establish the research base, Little America. Although some conspiracy theories can be quite wild, there are not some without cause. The discovery of a pyramid other than the pyramids of Giza in Egypt was made in Antarctica, and it begs the question, how did it get there? The Antarctica pyramids filled with conspiracies. Amidst the pristine white landscapes of Antarctica, a mysterious structure stands defiantly, piercing the ice and raising eyebrows worldwide. A supposed pyramid, visible under layers of dense frost at the Ellsworth mountain range, has generated a deluge of conspiracy theories, gripping the imagination of many. But as any seasoned traveler knows, not everything is as it seems. In these lands, pyramids bear testament to past civilizations with their intricate designs and baffling construction methods. Thus, discovering such a structure in Antarctica is both thrilling and disconcerting. However, it's essential to discern fact from fiction. Enter the realm of geologists, the detectives of Earth's mysteries. As countless speculations swirled around social media, with images and theories making the rounds, experts began weighing in on the matter. According to Professor Eric Reno of the University of California, an expert in Earth system science, there might be so much fuss over nothing. This is just a mountain that looks like a pyramid, Reno had stated, aiming to allay rumors. He further elaborated that pyramid shapes are not impossible. Many peaks partially look like pyramids, but they only have one to two faces like that, rarely four. As per geological consensus, the structure's steep, pyramid-like sides result from hundreds of millions of years of erosion. Dr. Mitch Darcy, an eminent geologist at the German Research Center for Geosciences, provided further clarity, stating that the pyramid-shaped structures are located in the Ellsworth Mountains, which is a range of more than 400 kilometers long, so it's no surprise rocky peaks are cropping out above the ice. For Darcy, the rock formation's semblance to a pyramid is a mere coincidence. The human mind is innately curious, continually seeking patterns and explanations for the unknown. While the Antarctic pyramid has stirred excitement and speculation, it serves as a testament to our planet's natural wonders and the intricate processes that shape them. The discovery of the pyramids in Antarctica sparked excitement and discussions amongst many. But this discovery of Antarctica is not the only jaw-dropping discovery to be made about the land of ice. Let us explore a few other exciting discoveries of Antarctica. The Blood Falls of the Antarctica Blood Falls, named for its ruddy color, is not a gush of blood from some unseen wound. The color was initially chalked up to red algae, but a study in the Journal of Glaciology has uncovered its true origin using radar to scan the layers of ice from which the river pours. The discovery came at the hands of a team of scientists, including National Geographic emerging explorer, Aaron C. Petit. Located in Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys, the falls pour forth from Taylor Glacier, and the liquid bubbles up from fissures in the glacier's surface. The flow was previously a mystery, as the mean temperature is 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 17 degrees Celsius, and little glacial melting can be seen at the surface. Imaging from underneath the glacier helped solve the mystery, 
revealing a complex network of subglacial rivers and a subglacial lake, all filled with brine high in iron, giving the falls its reddish tint. According to the study, the makeup of the brine explains the fact that it flows instead of freezes. The brine remains liquid within the subglacial and in glacial environments through latent heat of freezing coupled with elevated salt content, a study explains. The lake under the glacier has an unusually salty consistency, and because salt water has a lower freezing point than pure water and releases heat as it freezes, it melts the ice, enabling the rivers to flow. This means that the glacier can support flowing water, and also that this is the coldest glacier on Earth with constantly flowing water, though this water is so filled with iron that it looks like something else entirely. The study also measured the amount of iron-rich brine in the river water, and found the brine content increased as the measurements drew closer to the falls. Water temperature and brine content were also found to be related. Cracks of various sizes in the glacier let brine into the glacier. Then the brine begins to freeze, and the latent heat warms the ice around it, upping the brine concentration in the center of the cracks. This discovery about Antarctica just shows how much mystery Antarctica holds, and in the process of continual exploration, we will only continue to discover more mysteries. Hopefully, the next discovery on this list is not a blood-red discovery. Researchers planned a colossal squid expedition. While this discovery in Antarctica is still underway, it is a story regarding Antarctica worth knowing about. An international expedition of scientists is set to travel to Antarctica in December 2022 to capture video footage of the colossal squid. This type of squid is the largest invertebrate in the world. This expedition could reveal important information about the behaviors and habits of colossal squids, as well as information on animal life in Antarctica in general. This species was first discovered in 1925, so the goal of the scientists is to capture footage of this majestic creature before the 100th anniversary of its discovery. This next discovery on this list is beautiful, one that would wow anyone who sees it. The ozone hole above Antarctica is growing larger. This next discovery in Antarctica relates to the ozone layer, or the layer found in Earth's stratosphere that essentially protects the Earth from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. In the fall of 2022, scientists discovered that the hole in the ozone located above Antarctica is the largest it has ever been, with the hole measuring larger than the size of the entire United States. With global warming and a depleting ozone layer, many people worry about Antarctica's future. It makes you wonder what Antarctica would look like if all the ice melted. While scientists are worried about climate change, NASA scientist Paul Newman says that, in general, this hole in the ozone should hopefully grow smaller over time. As beautiful a sight as this ozone layer is, it is a reflection of the harm that man causes to the planet. We can only hope that our carbon emission is reduced and our ozone layer is protected to keep Antarctica protected. Hopefully, the next discovery on this list is not a reflection of man's harmful activities. Earthquake swarms were detected in Antarctica. Scientists discovered earthquake swarms along the Shetland Plate and Antarctic Plate in 2020 and 2021. When people think of earthquakes, they likely picture the Ring of Fire, an area in the Pacific Ocean prone to tectonic plate friction. A series of earthquakes was recently discovered in Antarctica, the southernmost continent. Scientists discovered earthquake swarms occurred along the Shetland Plate and Antarctic Plate. The swarms lasted from August 2020 through February 2021. Within that time, around 85,000 earthquakes occurred. Scientists believe this series of earthquake storms was potentially caused by the eruption of a dormant volcano. A dormant volcano in Antarctica? Now that is worrying. Hopefully, the next discovery on this list is not as alarming as it's icy instead of boiling. An enormous ice fish breeding colony was discovered. A massive group of ice fish was found in 2021 near the Filchner Ice Shelf. 
In early 2021, scientists uncovered the largest known fish breeding colony by the Filchner Ice Shelf in the Antarctic Weddell Sea, containing 60 million nests. The team of scientists used a towed camera system to gather footage of the ice fish, which were located over 400 meters below sea level. The images provided by the camera system allowed the scientists to determine that the nests were created by Neopagetopsis iona, a species of ice fish. These nests typically contain between 1,500 to 2,500 eggs each. This discovery proves that life despite the harsh conditions of Antarctica continues to thrive. Unlike the next discovery of Antarctica on this list, the shipwreck of Shackleton's Endurance was uncovered. The infamous shipwreck, Endurance, was found in March 2022. There are so many unique facts about Antarctica and the continent's history, from its flora and fauna to the midnight sun. One interesting part of Antarctica's history is the sinking of the steam yacht Endurance in 1915. The ship belonged to explorer Ernest Shackleton, who survived the shipwreck and later passed in 1922. The ship was finally discovered in March 2022 by a South African polar research team. Researchers are overjoyed, not only with the discovery, but the excellent condition Endurance is in. This discovery is proof that the spirit of exploration is forever in man, and man will always try to find out more about places that he does not know about, as evident in the next discovery. Sponges were found beneath the ice. In 2021 to 2022, Sponges were found when people were drilling through Arctic ice, hitting a boulder. Hugh Griffiths, a British Antarctic Survey marine biogeographer and the study's lead author, says a team of geologists was trying to collect a mud sample from underneath the ice shelf, but kept hitting a large boulder. The team deployed their equipment with a GoPro camera attached to see what the holdup was, he says. At first, the rock was a massive inconvenience that impeded them from retrieving a sediment sample he said. But when they showed the video footage to biologists back in the United Kingdom, Griffiths took a closer look. The geologists told Griffiths they could see a few strange shapes, and they weren't sure what they were, he said. Initially, he figured the objects were typical deep-sea sponge organisms. But when geologists revealed where the sponge sighting took place, hundreds of miles away from food, Griffiths believed the researchers had stumbled upon something extraordinary. When it comes to the deep sea in the Antarctic region, researchers have an 80% to 90% chance of discovering something new to science, he says. Scientists don't believe the sponges are related to other creatures they've been finding on Antarctic ice shelves, he says. But until we manage to get our hands on one, we'll never be able to answer that question. Other questions remain until the sponges are examined in person. Their bleak, freezing environment has no light or food sources, Griffith says, meaning any food they come across has to drift in sideways over extremely far distances. The chances of getting food are really low. That raises questions about how often these animals even feed, he said. We know that some Antarctic sponges can live a very long time even up to tens of thousands of years. So are these things only feeding once a year, once a decade, or once a century? The habitat they're living in is directly under a huge ice sheet that is threatened by climate change, meaning there's a chance scientists could lose the opportunity to learn more about these mysterious animals. If nothing changes in how humans respond to climate change, he worries about the impact on Antarctica's environment. Fortunately, the ice shelf these creatures live under is relatively stable. The discovery of these sponges proves there's more to unearth in the depths of the ocean. Discovery is the bane of humankind, and many on this list were discovered by man. Discovery knows no bounds, and man continues to make strides in discovery, even if it means going into the deep. The Feather Star a newly named species from the Antarctic Ocean represents the rich and strange diversity of those frigid waters, where scientists have found new and unexpected creatures in recent years. In this case, a small flower star, named after a strawberry, resembles an alien mop head, or the face hugger from the movie Alien. But not to worry, the strange creature eats tiny plankton and has no interest in human faces. 
Between 2008 and 2017, scientists used boats to trawl the Antarctic Ocean, hitting such locales as the South Orkney Islands, Elephant Island, the Davis Sea, and the South Sandwich Islands, all while looking for new specimens. They came up with the dramatic new flower star and three other crinoids, a group that's related to starfish and sea urchins. These adaptable creatures have lived in the world's oceans since about 490 million years ago and dominated the seafloor during part of the Mississippian period, which ran from 360 million years to 320 million years ago. They left behind a large amount of fossilized remains underwater and on what is now land, where their remains formed many of the limestone rocks. The new species, Promachocrinus fragarius, from the Latin fragum for strawberry, has 20 arms and many more thin cirri, along with the strawberry-shaped body that earned the species its name. These organisms eat by positioning themselves in water currents and sticking out their arms, which are lined with tube feet that catch plankton in mucus. When the crinoid is ready to move on, it uses its arms to swim to a new perch. Two of the other new species, P. Anru and P. Ask Glassy, have similar anatomy, with 20 different arms each, although subtle distinctions set them apart. P. Anru has large cirri that rival the size of its arms, and P. Ask Glassy has a large, conically shaped body. These strange animals illustrate how evolutionary forces have shaped the Antarctic Ocean, particularly during the last glacial maximum, about 20,000 years ago. Then, during the last surge of the last ice age, glaciers covered a large percentage of the Southern Ocean, which greatly affected evolution there. This was recently discovered, and it is proof that life thrives even in the harshest conditions. The next discovery on this list is the highest proof of this. Million-year-old DNA found in Antarctica. The DNA of ancient microorganisms estimated to be around a million years old have recently been found in the seafloor of the Scotia Sea, near Antarctica. Remains of marine microorganisms were discovered around 178 meter deep in the sediments of the ocean floor in Antarctica during an expedition in 2019. The samples are the oldest authenticated DNA to be discovered to date. Previously, the oldest DNA ever found was 650,000 years old, buried within subarctic permafrost deposits. Dubbed sedimentary ancient DNA or sedidna, this DNA comes from eukaryotes, organisms whose cells contain a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. The group of scientists that conducted the study is unsure of the species of these organisms, as eukaryotes include animals, plants, fungi, and algae. The fragments are the oldest authenticated marine set of DNA discovered to date, and these have been preserved due to factors like very low temperatures and oxygen concentrations. And an absence of ultraviolet radiation, Dr. Linda Armbrecht, a researcher at the Institute for Marine and Antarctic Studies and lead author of the study, said about the discovered DNA. The study, published in Nature Communications, analyzed the fragmented DNA samples using a new technique called CEDA DNA analysis, which helped the scientists understand what has lived in the oceans through the various ice age cycles Earth has experienced. Scientists identified a variety of microorganisms, apart from the million-year-old eukaryote, such as 540,000-year-old chlorophytes and diatoms, photosynthesizing algae found in aquatic and moist environments. Around 14,500 years ago, the Earth was warming naturally after an ice age. Warmer waters and rising sea levels due to the melting of the ice sheet contributed to the rapid growth of diatoms in the oceans, the paper noted. This interesting and important change is associated with a worldwide and rapid increase in sea levels and massive loss of ice in Antarctica due to natural warming. Warming that caused an increase in ocean productivity around Antarctica at that time, Dr. Michael Weber, a co-author of the study said, various species of tiny diatoms still exist in our oceans and form the base of the food chain as they are primary food sources for larger organisms. Discovery and analysis of the set of DNA in Antarctica have ensured that scientists can get a peek into the rhythms of the oceans 
over hundreds and thousands of years. They can explore the effects of the multiple glacial-interglacial cycles on the Earth's ecosystems and predict the outcomes of climate change in polar regions more accurately. Antarctica is one of the most vulnerable regions to climate change on Earth, and studying the past and present responses of this polar marine ecosystem to environmental change is a matter of urgency. For ages past, life has existed in Antarctica, and this mind-blowing discovery is just as important as the next one on the list. Large Lake found underneath Antarctica's largest ice sheet, a lake the size of Las Vegas could help us understand the impact of the changing climate on Antarctica 10,000 years ago and in the future. Scientists investigating the underside of the world's largest ice sheet in East Antarctica have discovered a lake the size of Las Vegas whose sediments might contain a history of the ice sheet since its earliest beginnings. They say it would answer questions about what Antarctica was like before it froze, how climate change has affected it over its history, and how the ice sheet might behave as the world warms. Revealed by heavily instrumented polar research aircraft, Lake Snow Eagle is covered by over three kilometers, two miles of ice, and lies in a canyon in the highlands of Antarctica's Princess Elizabeth Land, around 500 kilometers from the edge of the ice shelf. The discovery of the lake has been announced in a study appearing in the journal Geology led by scientists at the University of Texas at Austin and including Martin Siegert, professor of glaciology and co-director of the Grantham Institute, Climate Change and the Environment, at Imperial College London. This lake is likely to have a record of the entire history of the East Antarctic Ice Sheet, its initiation over 34 million years ago, as well as its growth and evolution across glacial cycles since then, According to Dr. Don Blankenship, one of the paper's authors and a senior research scientist at the University of Texas at Austin's Institute for Geophysics. Observations also suggest that the ice sheet changed significantly about 10,000 years ago, although we have no idea why, he stated. Because it lies relatively close to the coast, researchers think that Lake Snow Eagle might contain information about how the East Antarctic ice sheet first began and the part played by the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, a ring of cold water circling the continent that scientists think is responsible for keeping it cool. The first hint that the lake and its host canyon existed emerged when scientists spotted a smooth depression on satellite images of the ice sheet. To confirm it was there, researchers spent three years flying systematic surveys over the site with ice-penetrating radar and sensors that measure minute changes in Earth's gravity and magnetic field. The paper's lead author, Shui Yan, a graduate student at UT Austin's Jackson School of Geosciences, who was a flight planner for the field research that investigated the lake, said he jumped when he saw the reflection. What he saw was the lake's water that, unlike ice, reflects radar like a mirror. Along with the gravity and magnetic surveys, which lit up the underlying geology of the region, and the depth of water and sediments, Mr. Yan constructed a detailed picture of a jagged highland topography with Lake Snow Eagle nestled at the base of a canyon. The newly discovered lake is about 42 kilometers long, 15 kilometers wide, and 150 to 200 meters deep. The sediments at the bottom of the lake are 200 to 300 meters deep and might include river sediments older than the ice sheet itself. Moving forward, the researchers said getting a sample of the lake's sediments by drilling into it would fill big gaps in scientists' understanding of Antarctica's glaciation and provide vital information about the ice sheet's possible demise from climate change. Professor Martin Siegert from Imperial College London, a co-author of the study, said that the lake had been accumulating sediment over a very long time, potentially taking us through the period when Antarctica had no ice at all to when it went into deep freeze. There is no single record of all those events in one place, but the sediments at the bottom of this lake could be ideal, he said. Lake Snow Eagle was named after one of the aircraft used in its discovery. It is one of many features uncovered by Icecap 2, 
an international collaboration to map the last unknown regions of East Antarctica by polar research teams from the United States, United Kingdom, China, Australia, Brazil, and India. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another of our interesting videos.